of your body. My name is Hamza Jalud. I'm going to introduce our paper entitled Investigation Fatigue Crack Initiation and Propagation Cruciform Molding Joint by XFEM and Implementation SUD Approach. To solve the problems and analysis welding phenomena, we perform a numerical analysis in order to evaluate the sieve value in the cracked cruciform welding joint by SUD approach using XFEM coupled with level set technique. The obtained result will be compared with those provided by JNT graph method for different oration zones and contours. Also, crack initiation and propagation under cyclic loading have been adopted for in numerical modeling section. Lazarin et al. is based in the evaluation of the average strain energy density over a control volume in a circular shape centered at the crack tip and characterized by the radius and using the relation between the strain energy density and the stresses and positive factor. The solution of the variational equation can be approximated by the displacement field which is the sum of the classical finite element method and arrangement at crack split represented by the red circles and arrangement at the crack tip represented by the blue squares. When the crack propagates, the level set function rescan all the elements every cycle to identify the new type element and the new split elements. In the test one variation in the crack length under static load, the result obtained shown a proximity between the, S the sieve SOD and the sieve calculated from the G-integral method. Also note the stability of the G-integral method when changing the G-integral contours and fixing the size of arrangement zone. In the test two crack initiation and propagation simulation was carried out by XFEM under cyclic loading. All the dimensions and boundary condition and the mesh distribution like the previous example figure represent the loading change that depending in type. These findings were found to be the good agreement between the sieve SOD and the sieve calculated from the G-integral method. At the end of the study, the following results were concluded. So, I hope you find our study interesting and I really invite you to read the whole paper in order to access actually the implementation of the SOD approach in XFEM. Thank you so much for your attention. Please email me in case you have any question or your required information regarding our study. Thank you so much.